up boys welcome back to the channel hope you're doing great i'm glad you're all here if you're new here subscribe right now if you don't subscribe i'm gonna come over to health and kick you in the nuts hard or the JJ. Because you know what? We don't discriminate here. You're all welcome. VJJ or nuts, it don't matter. Just subscribe. Let's rock and roll in this goddamn video. Modern Warfare 2 is going to be the greatest Call of Duty ever. It's going to save the franchise. It's going to be awesome. There's a new engine. Warzone 2 is coming up. It's going to be lit, fam. I can't wait to use COD Creator Code. I got a sore esophagus from sucking Call of Duty cock so deep. It ended up in my sphincter, but backwards in the 360 no scope roundabout way. It was like in here, then out there, and it came up my bum. It looked like a one-eyed snake. Like, hey, man, what's going on out here? Make sure you enter your COD Creator Code. I don't use Hacksnet, Duma, G Fuel, Snort Adderall, whatever it takes. I'm gonna get a nuke, gonna drop a Warzone 56 kill streak, kill game. All right, yeah! What the hell am I talking about? Wear a mask, go get triple vaccinated, get four if you have to. All right, let's comment down, let's get back on point. Modern Warfare 2, the point of this whole video, Warzone 2 is gonna save, it's gonna save, it's gonna save, it's gonna stave off the horrible Call of Duty we've been playing the last couple of years. It's also gonna save the Call of Duty franchise. Trust me on that, use COD Creator Code. My throat really goddamn hurts right now. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, you're basically saying I'm a beta male and I'm a gaming dork and I can't handle alpha male energy coming from this Call of Duty elite game and athlete known as not eight thoughts. But Modern Warfare 2's coming, Warzone 2's coming, we got a new engine, it's really cool, it's really awesome, the Call of Duty shills are hyping it up, it's gonna be an amazing game, no it's not. What you gotta do is you gotta reverse boost, cause you're gonna get hit with the skill based matchmaking, and we all know how much fun skill based matchmaking is, cause you guys love to play with super elite gaming athletes who spend nothing but their whole entire life playing Call of Duty, because in reality, they don't, you know, I don't know, I got nothing else to say, but these guys are just really good. I don't know why, I don't know, they focus on playing, being good at the video game, streaming on Twitch to five people, hoping to be the Nick, 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 the Nick, Merc, Nick, Nick, whatever. They're hoping to be someone famous on Twitch, but they're trying to be big time. They think they're going to strike it rich. This is the new come up for kids nowadays, I guess, and that's to be a famous social media influencer, right? Right. So the moral of the story is wear a mask. Modern Warfare 2 is awesome. It's going to be the best game ever, and it's going to save the franchise and enter COD Creator Code, I got a sore esophagus. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'd also like to address some other things going on in the Call of Duty community that I just saw a video from 402 Thunder cover where he was talking about how the Call of Duty developers admitted that they fucked up. And that's fantastic that they are now recognizing in some kind of conversation with all the other developers. They got together in a big powwow of Call of Duty developers and they all admitted that they have been messing up and not doing a good job, which is great for them to finally take responsibility for being horrible Call of Duty developers and ruining this franchise with the lack of effort and how bad they're doing. I hope they came to also the terms or the realization of terms that perhaps maybe the people they're hiring and their left wing ideologies that think that they need to hire people based on the pay way that they look and what kind of gender they are instead of on the merit of their skill would be maybe a better idea to do. Like maybe we should start hiring people like Martin Luther King said, I wish to be judged not by the color of my skin, but the content of my character. I'm not sure what happened to that. I thought that's what I thought. The, I thought I thought that's what equality was, right? Like we judge people completely based upon who they are and what they do, and not based on what they look like. Like that is the exact like what we're doing nowadays seems to be the exact opposite of what equality is. So it's fantastic that they are admitting that they have not done a good job. However, could they also admit that maybe they're not hiring the right people for the job, which is equating to a shitty product? Because if you look at these development teams, they don't look like the kind of people that you would think would be very good at a Call of Duty game. When you hear them speak about it and you look at their actual credentials and what they actually bring to the table as a developer and someone who should be working on gaming and you look at their education and their past work experience, it doesn't really seem to be you know like let's just let's just use this as an example let's look at uh, you know we all know blame truth is and his ongoing battle with uh, what's it, Ashton well Ashton is Vulcan which was the Infinity Ward community manager right Ashton is Vulcan she might be the perfect example
example, someone hired based on the way they look and not on the merit of their skill. I mean, she got fired, which is great, but you probably could have come to that conclusion that she's not good at her job and not have her go like two years where she's supposed to be the community manager who doesn't communicate. That's like trying to say you're an Olympic swimmer when you're a bowling ball. Let that sink in. <laughs> Just made a good joke. Yes. <laughs> Oh, man, it's early in the morning for me to be making this video. <laughs> Anyways, so they're admitting they're wrong, which is the first step to, you know, becoming better. But are they going to become better? Like, are they actually going to increase and become better at their game? Are they going to provide a good product? I don't know. It, it's weird, right? Because Vanguard is the worst Call of Duty ever in most people's eyes. Like, worse than Infinite Warfare, worse than COD Ghosts. And it's still, uh, according to the reports I've seen on Twitter from Tom Henderson and other people in the game who know about the numbers, it is still selling really well. Like, it's still not the best selling Call of Duty all time, but it's still outselling almost every other game in the world. And even right now in January, it was still the second best selling game in the world. Like, come on, man. Like, it doesn't matter what this franchise does. People are still going to buy it. And hey, guilty as charged. I mean, I'm buying, I'm buying Modern Warfare 2 when it comes out next year. 100%. I'm glad I didn't buy Battlefield 2042. Sorry, Battlefield fans. That is just too bad of a game to support. And, uh... Yeah, I have to get my digs in here at the Battlefield community. I love it because I'm still mad at you nerds, by the way. Total random tangent. I made a Battlefield video at the very beginning and told no one to buy the game. Said it was garbage and I got like 6,000 dislikes because the Battlefield fanboys couldn't handle the truth. But the Call of Duty fanboys, you guys can handle the truth. You guys are studs and I love you dudes and I appreciate the support. But long story short, Modern Warfare 2 is going to save the franchise and I love women. And if Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 is going to be successful, it needs strong female representation on those development teams. And I hope they also wear a mask inside the office to keep everyone safe. Anyways, at this point, I mean, I think it'd be kind of ridiculous and silly to sit here and try to project the future that Call of Duty is going to be saved again by the next iteration of the yearly release of Call of Duty. It's been said now for quite a few years. I mean, I would say some of us have been saying this for maybe almost a decade, maybe half a decade, since the golden age of COD died, which would be around Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2 era. When Ghost came in, that would probably be the end of the golden age of Call of Duty. And I think since Ghost came out, we have seen a lot of people, President Company included, not anymore, in the past, and I learned from my mistakes, but definitely a lot of people still holding on to that every year that something is going to change and it's going to be better than it was before. And then, the, you know, it's a Call of Duty cycle. It is what it is. But the whole point of this video is to say that the Battlefield fanboys are beta males. The Call of Duty fanboys are alpha male elite game and athletes who can take criticism and don't live in a world of denial and fantasy. And they can recognize when a game is bad. And Modern Warfare 2 is going to say the franchise is going to be the best Call of Duty ever. Also, wear a mask and hug a girl today because she knows her life was built on a throne of lies built by men. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much, everybody, for watching the video. I love you, bros and hoes and everybody in between. We're just making jokes out here, you know, guys, just making jokes. Or maybe we're just telling the truth. I don't know. You figure that out for yourself. And with all that being said, thanks for watching the video. I'm Donnie Thoughts, and I'll see you in another video really, really soon. Peace out. Yeah.